Welcome to another nugget in our series of short videos. This video covers fundamental building blocks, specifically variables and custom instances. Automation solutions, like any programming, make use of variables to store values. In Automation Studio, we refer to variables as custom instances. In order to practice creating custom instances and later steps, we will load the distance to partial project. In the asset tree, under custom instances, we can see that three simple text variables have been defined and we will add a decimal variable to be used in the project. In the toolbar above the asset tree, click the create variable button. In the dialog, click on simple variable. We will enter results underscore decimal for the variable name and select decimal from the type pulldown. The initial value and comments fields are optional. Click finish and you will see the new variable added to the list under custom instances. In later videos, we will illustrate how and when to create complex and list variables. Right clicking on a variable allows you to view where in the project a variable is used to alter variable parameters other than type and to delete variables. In order to prevent automation errors, if you attempt to delete a variable that is used or referenced in any workflow in the automation, you will not be able to do so until you remove all references to that variable. Clicking Show Usage opens the reference panel indicating in which workflows and steps the variable is referenced. The locations are listed in order of workflows and within each workflow by step and function. Clicking on a location in the panel highlights the variable in the canvas and in the action pane. Thank you for watching. There are more video nuggets in the online help video gallery. The other fundamentals videos cover other building blocks. Bye for now.